In this video, I explain merits and demerits of geometric mean. First, we discuss merits. Number one, it is readily defined by a mathematical formula. As you know, mathematical formula for ungrouped data of geometric mean is g is equal to anti log sum of log of x if your variable is x divided by small n which is the number of observations so you can define um, geometric mean with the help of mathematical formula number two it is based on all observations as you know for geometric uh, mean if you want to calculate geometric mean for a data set then you calculate geometric mean for all observations there is no observation is missing number three it is capable of mathematical development mathematical uh, development is uh, possible and capable in geometric mean number four it is less affected by extreme values as compared to mean geometric mean is less affected uh, to to extreme values as compared to mean as you know extreme values are which are outlying uh, the values which are which are outlying from your data set so this is less effective by extreme values demerits it becomes zero if any of the observation is zero if a single observation is zero because the definition of geometric mean is it is a set of n positive values x1 x2 so on x if your data set is x1 and nth root of the product you take by definition you take all observation multiplying and take nth root if your observation is 5 then your uh, geometric mean is uh, uh, multiply all five observations and uh, uh, 1 over 5 you can calculate when you multiplying and one observation is 0 it means your r value is 0 for example you have observations 2 4 5 8 and 0 when you multiply 2 4 5 and 8 and then with 0 the, your uh, answer is 0 so if any observation is 0 your geometric mean will be 0 number 2 it is sensible only for positive values it becomes imaginary for negative values for negative values uh, geometric mean is imaginary because when you take log uh, uh, then then uh, uh, then the, um, for negative values log is not possible so it is sensible only for positive values when uh, and it becomes imaginary when the values are negative if you want to see videos about merits and demerits of arithmetic mean solved questions about measure of central tendency then click the link in front of your screen. Thanks for watching.